For problem two, we will be constructing a special quadrilateral. It says construct a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides of lengths A and B. You are given segments of lengths A and B, which are here and here. You need to construct a quadrilateral ABYZ with AZ equaling the length of A, BY equaling the length of B, and AZ parallel to BY. You need a pair of parallel sides to construct parallel lines, as you did in problem one. So start by drawing an array with endpoint A. So I will take my straight edge. Draw the array. This is endpoint A, so I'll put my A over here. Because then draw AB such that point B is more on the first ray. So we'll put B over here, and I'll connect these two with another ray. We'll mark that point as B. Construct your congruent corresponding angles to finish your parallel lines. So once again, we're going to take our compass, put our first tip on A, and we're going to draw our arc to get this angle. I'm going to mark these intersections here. Take that same exact distance, go up to B, and mark that at B. And then you'll take your compass again, measure this distance here, so I have to go smaller. You can measure the distance between the two. So you're going to take that same distance and mark an arc up here, off of this top point. I'm going to connect B with that point. So we now have our parallel line. It says now you need sides of lengths A and B. In lesson 1 6, you learned how to construct congruent segments. Construct Y and Z so that BY equals B and AZ equals A. So we have to have AZ equal to A. So what we're going to do, we'll take our compass and measure the distance, the length, excuse me, of A. On segment A up here. So you're going to take your point on one side and take your pencil tip to the other. And that's the distance of one segment A. So you're going to put your tip on A and mark it here on this ray. We are going to label that Z for the intersection. So now we know that AZ is equal to the length of A. I'll just mark that down there. So do the same thing with B. Make it smaller. So we're going to take this on point B. And draw a mark. And label this as Y. Here. And then it says to draw Y, Z. So we're going to connect these two here. A, B, Y, Z is a quadrilateral with parallel sides, these are our parallel sides, and lengths A and B. Let me mark B, I forgot to mark B. So that's how you construct a special quadrilateral.